Hey, Christy. Well, I can tell you that the Kiwanis of Little Havana Foundation made their first stop here at Walker Elementary, and the kids were ecstatic. They were happy to receive their free school supplies. And just in the nick of time, right before school just started yesterday. It's only the second day of school, but already a celebration at Watkins Elementary. This morning, kids lined up to receive free school supplies made possible by the Kiwanis of Little Havana Foundation. This season, we're doing 13 schools and over 8,000 students. So you can see that they're getting glue sticks, they're getting folders, they're also getting some composition books. Let's see if I can get some. Can I get some composition books? Yeah, sure, here you go. Headed back to school with the purse. That's how you got to do it. Of the 13 schools, three in Broward County and 10 in Miami-Dade, each chosen based on the need and percentage of students that receive free lunch. Really emotional. They're saying thank you for all the supplies and for us this, this is definitely a confirmation of what we do is right. And then at the end of the year when you, these teachers tell you that they've gone up a grade, it's really impactful and we, that's why we do it. But of course, nothing beats their smiles. It'll have a transformational impact in our school and it, it's just, it's great. And you can see the children's faces when they're walking through, it's like, it was like a Christmas today. And back out here live at Walker Elementary, I can tell you that Kiwanis, the Kiwanis of Little Havana Foundation says that they have received over two, a quarter million dollars worth of school supplies that will be donated to those kids in Miami-Dade and Broward County. They also said that they've served the South Florida community for the last 26 years, and they're hoping that they'll be able to continue to expand in the upcoming years. Live in Fort Lauderdale, Samantha Bryant, Local 10 News.